It's your boy T-Bird in reaction. Today's makeup for Russell Wednesday. Um, I would I'll be as well as able to do it yesterday. Um, cause I one of those our uh, little one was one film kind of, kind of well, so we had me and the wife had to take care of it as well too. Other than that, we did a double Russell Wednesday early in the morning one, but hopefully I have time. I can put everything together since I'm a little time off for the, for the week as well too. And, you know, I got a little paternity last minute return to leave, so your boy got blessed. But anyway. So, we're going to kick things off with the first half of our Wrestling Wednesday. Hopefully, I can get most of Wrestling first. And that is Post Night Champion based videos. We're going to check out first. It all in one, two videos about, about two highlight moments of, of Night Champions. And then next one will be new t videos from, from um, Parts for Known based off of, of what we got here is the new. Uh, New World Hell Championship by Septo, but yeah, we're gonna check out both post matches about about both um, Seth Rollins and the new, being the new World Heavyweight Champion and the Usos, Jimmy Jimmy Usos, not the Usos no more, getting get get had enough of the Tribal Creek bullshit and Jimmy had, Jimmy had to show he ain't nobody's bitch. So anyway, first thing first, we'll check out the. Seth Rollins World Heavy Championship uh, win with with Palana Production as the real reason why Seth Rollins won. So without further ado, let's check that out. Let's get it. Seth Rollins just defeated AJ Styles at. Hold on a second, my volume is a little low. Well, y'all probably hear it, but my side my volume is pretty low. Anyway, let's go. Night of Champions to win the World Heavyweight Championship. Seth Rollins and AJ put on a banger as they you would did. expect from the two opponents, but let's talk about the real reason why WWE had Seth Rollins become the brand new World Heavyweight Champion. There's multiple reasons why he won. The first one is that he's a top three wrestler in the company right Next. now. Roman Reigns is clearly mm. on the top. He's been the biggest star that the company has had for a few years now. The second and third biggest star is debatable. However, I would say that Cody Rhodes is Definitely. number two. Ever since returning in 2022, Cody Rhodes has quickly made a name for himself. And then there's Seth Rollins at the number three spot. Mm -hmm. Every single show, he gets some of the loudest reactions. Seth Rollins and his theme song are so over that there's yep. a crowd in France, I think in Paris, who were singing it for 10 straight minutes. When someone is that over, you've yeah, got to make facts. them the world champion. The second reason is that the fans were heavily behind him. Most WWE fans wanted him to become the World Heavyweight Champion, and the WWE has to give the fans what they wanted, especially because they didn't give the fans what they wanted with Cody Rhodes at WrestleMania against Roman Reigns. They did not. The WWE needed to make up for that to a lot of fans, so it makes sense. The third reason why he finally was given the World Championship is because he has not been a World Champion That's in true. over 1,300 days. So this was long overdue for him. It's a long overdue World title reign for Seth Rollins. Because Roman Reigns has been the number one guy, Seth Rollins has suffered immensely. WWE knew that he wanted and deserved this World title run. And here's the thing. Hold up, my bad. And I think Seth Rollins also felt that way. And plus the thing about a lot of folks saying that they made title because they... Cause they can't can't take the belt off of Roman Reigns. I say you don't want to take the belt off of Roman Reigns unless you got some hokin politicking going by scene with Roman Reigns, the tribal queef. You are ain't does that y'all can't. Y'all just don't want to. That's that's let's let's keep it real. I mean, let's get if I gotta go uh, K face side and go to the behind the scene politics. Y'all don't want to get him up because K face side is the winner is scripted, but. Obviously, for some reason you wanted to keep that keep that belt on that type, on that uh, tribal dickhead. But anyway, hold on a second. Um, I'm back. Anyway, let's keep going. Since he's been complaining about it publicly through interviews, and I don't necessarily blame him. The fourth reason why he won the belt is because WWE needed a full timer who's ready to put that on too. consistent bangers. For Not just a full timer, a full timer babyface as well too. We haven't had a babyface title winner in a while. And on Raw, live events, and every show at the pay-per-views. Seth Rollins is clearly a top performer, and because Roman Reigns doesn't wrestle too often, WWE needed someone who they could trust that is going to deliver each 
each time they get in that ring, they owe it to the fans. The fifth reason why Seth Rollins won the belt is because Raw needed a face of the brand, mm -hmm. and Seth Rollins is clearly that man. Let's be real, he's been carrying Monday Night Raw for a very long time, even before Cody Rhodes came to WWE, and because of that, it was an easy decision to make him the champion for all that he's done. And the fans can easily see Monday Night Rollins as the top guy for Raw with the World Championship. And the last reason is because Cody Rhodes is set to chase Roman Reigns for the WWE Undisputed Championship. Since he, he needs should. to win that belt for his dad and get his revenge, uh, there should. was nobody else that was going to win this title. Seth Rollins was the only logical choice. This was perfect for Seth Rollins, and I'm glad that WWE made the right I'm decision. Too. I can't wait for this title reign. I think there's so many dream matches. However, I don't expect this reign to be too long because there's plenty of other guys who have been waiting for a championship run. You've got Edge, AJ Styles, Drew McIntyre, Gunther, and LA Knight. They all have a chance to win it from Seth Rollins in the near future. For now, I'm happy for Seth Rollins and I expect this to be great for WWE. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Yeah, this is good though, for sure. This is very good. So, um... Yeah, he needed it as well, too. I hope they keep him as a face of the winner as well, too. Hope they don't treat him as a typical babyface uh, title holder that they do with the babyfaces because they have not good record with babyface holders, title holders as well, too. Um, so the second thing we want to check out is reason why is reason why we had this awesome highlight moment as Jay finally was sick of the Tropic Queef shit. So let's check it out from Plan of Us. It is the real reason why Jimmy also betrayed the Tribal Queen. Let's get it. The ending of Night of Champions truly shocked the wrestling world. In the ending of the main event between Roman Reigns, Solo Sokoa, Sami Zayn, and Kevin Owens, the referee was accidentally speared. While he was... It was seeming to happen with every damn match include, involving this fucker here. Down, the Usos came out to help the Bloodline win the undisputed WWE Tag Team Championships. Unfortunately for them, Sami Zayn ducked at the last second and they super kicked their brother, Solo Sokoa, and Roman Reigns, he was not happy at all. He got in the ring and absolutely disrespected them, asking them why they showed up, who told them to show up, and he also yelled at them some more and shoved them around. Enough was enough. Jimmy Uso decided to super kick Roman I love Reigns. every moment of then it, yes. Jay Uso that he was going to do what Jay should have done a long time mm -hmm. ago, and he Facts. super kicked him one Woo! more time. Jay Uso was straight up depressed and stressed. They got this man stressing like crazy in 2023. First, Sami Zayn mentally destroyed him at the Royal Rumble, and now his actual brother did the same mm -hmm. thing. Jimmy then told his brother that it was too late to go back, and Jimmy said that Jay had to choose his brother, and they walked out together. Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens took advantage, and they mm -hmm. won the match. Roman Reigns was screwed and betrayed by his own cousin, and the storytelling was beautiful. This is truly the best story we've seen in WWE history, and I you truly think that. I haven't out. seen a story with so many different <laughs> layers, and it hasn't gotten boring at one point. It only keeps getting better and better, and the question on everyone's mind is, why? why first thing WWE first, hold up. This well? First thing first, I gotta say that I'm glad that now that that happened. They are finally away from the bloodline. It wasn't again. He said he fucked around. Find out. But I'm glad they are around, not around, away from bloodline now. Now you can focus on the old thing. Then they got a feud with the Imperium and everything. I gotta say, first off, Kevin Owens' little segment one there was funny. With the whole segment, how funny was hilarious. Though. Especially them calling uh, Giovanni Vinci body and uh, Luke Wynn, uh what's the name, uh, Slenderman, and uh, go through the ears. Oh man. So I'm glad he for not even quite folks gonna love their uh title runs now. The folks was like already not liking it because they keep going to the bloodline and everything. But now they can break away from the bloodline and everything. But now can we see what's gonna happen within the bloodline going on with going forward with Jimmy and Jay though? But let's keep going. This is the real reason why Jimmy Uso betrayed Roman Reigns. There's a few different reasons actually. The first one is that WWE was wrapping up Sami Zayn's storyline. When he left the bloodline, he vowed that he would be the one to destroy the bloodline. Mm -hmm. So it's fitting that WWE kept him and Kevin Owens in this storyline. Yep. Because of his past with the Usos, it made sense that he was the one to try to convince them that Roman Reigns is a psychopath. This you should be the end you. of Sami Zayn and the Bloodline. I don't think we're going to see them anymore. Thank God. The second reason is that WWE is looking to move on from the Bloodline faction. Please. Nothing lasts forever, and this program needs to come to an end, and it will 
but with time. Please, though, because it's, it's getting stale. Well, like I say, the only reason I'm liking it more because it's involving baby faces now. Before, it was like a one-sided thing for the hills to 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 enjoy. And now, it, they has baby face cracking it with Kevin Owens, Sammy Turner. And now, they got Jimmy Uso involved and possibly, and student late, possibly Jay. And could even be possibly Solo. So, so now, I'm interested now. Now the ba- now you got you got the thing more interesting for for both the Hill fans and the Face fans as well too. So there's that. This is far from the end, but it's the beginning of the ending. Roman's dominance will most likely come to an end at WrestleMania 40. Therefore, he's got to lose his faction before then. The WWE planted seeds for Jimmy Uso to turn on him weeks ago, and this was the payoff. Mm-hmm. The third reason is that WWE is planning more drama with the bloodline before they officially do come to an end. Roman Reigns is most likely going to have a singles match with Jimmy Uso at Money in the Bank for the Undisputed Championship, and then Jay Uso will be stuck at a crossroads. His love for his brother will meet the fear that he has for the tribal chief. Mm -hmm. After some manipulation and some more toxicity, Jay Uso will finally break away from his cousin's mental Jay Jay Uso will most likely wrestle him at SummerSlam as well, and that's going to be a fire match. We saw it in 2020. We're going to see it again. We could also get a tag team match between the Usos, Roman Reigns, and Solo Sokoa. Anyways, after everyone from his family will leave him throughout the year, he's going to be at WrestleMania 40 all alone to wrestle the man who has the most love from his family, and that is Cody Rhodes in a rematch. This time around, without his family to help, he will finally be dethroned, and, and all this could not happen without today's betrayal. And that is the real reason why Jimmy Uso betrayed mm. Roman Reigns at Night of Champions. And there's this words that... Cody might have a funny memory uh, uh, backing him up if, if well too. There's words that go uh Dustin might have, might be uh having his final run with uh AEW soon. So he might return he might return to uh WWE in support of his brother. That'd be an awesome moment right there to have his brother in there with him when he finally wins the championship. That would be an awesome moment right there. So other than that it's- what are your thoughts? I had to make sure my sound was open. I had to make sure I ain't doing the last minute sound thing. But yeah, that will be awesome. I will say that's gonna be awesome moment right there when when go if uh go does uh Dusty go does come back to WWE and help his and support his brother. I will love it though. Get his brother involved. In it, I will love it. He probably not will help help, but you know like get involved in a way. But yeah, I will love this. But other than that. If you like my reaction to both videos, like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's your boy T-Bear signing off with love.